Hi everybody, this is Rob from Shedley Wood and uh, it's uh, another update and um, what I've been up to um, today is um, is, uh, is doing the track upgrade um, which I planned weeks ago and um, and you can see what I've been doing is to rip I've ripped out all the uh, the previous track work from there the the two points that were which were um, con um, which were there they now moved over here and um, also um, I've I've added the two um, curved points here uh, I've replaced the straight point on this section here for the sidings and the bay platform um, the point that, um, I've added here is is electro for point now the reason why I've added the this type of uh, turnout is because um, uh, I wanted we really um, I wanted to um, use it for like uh, shunting locomotives or or other similar uh, vehicles that to um, go over the points smoothly without stalling like my old uh, Backman 04 over there and so hopefully once it's all connected up and, and soldered all the wires I'll be able to um, um, test it out and see how it goes um, if, if if it's not successful I can always um, before I start um, putting the track pin the track down and ballasting I would have to um, replace it back to its uh, insole frog point type anyway the other thing I've also I've included in, in this upgrade is I'm go I wanted a, a, a fitted um, uh, let, um, point motors and um, I have also um, I've I've drilled a 10, 10 millimeter hole under this point here that one there that one and that one and also this one um, um, so that I could add um, a Pico point, um, to point motor with a long pin which is going to be underneath the baseboard so this pin will go through the little hole in the middle there which is the I think it's called the stretcher bar uh, if that's uh, correct so once um, that's once the pins through I'll cut, cut it to, um, to a length at the top there and once it's all wired um, it's all be tested out and hopefully it'll, it'll work um, also I've, rep um, I've replaced this uh, point here as well I'm sorry I replaced this um, this section here um, so well because it was because uh, a while ago I've cut uh, the track with um, I, I cut the two rails uh, so that uh, this area here is isolated from the main power uh, from the main power so this all separated with um, um, so what I've done, I put a, a new one, a new piece there, and I've fitted um, some insulating joiners. So, so that's um, so that's all uh, improved, hopefully. And uh, also, um, I've used the the previous section of track as well. Um, I couldn't be bothered putting um, any uh, flexi, any fresh flexi track in the moment, even though these are. I'm decided to recycle these anyway because of its saving money as well, and also with this one as well, uh, which was uh, which was used to be along here, but I'm uh, moving this further up here, and I still got work to do. I've got to cut this to length and and join it to this track, and I've still got this one to do from there to there, this which is the little and branch uh, uh, track, so that's. Um, so that's uh, that's the upgrade work um, sharing with you. Anyway, on with the, on the next uh, topic. Um, the second thing I'd like to share with you: um, some stuff I bought from um, from the Wally Show the last uh, I think it was a couple of weekends ago. Uh, yes, um, I'm going to show you some bits and pieces what I got here. Never, like I said, never left uh, any exhibitions empty-handed. And this one here, I uh, bought this. Actually, this is um, some. Uh, rubber tyres, well traction tyres from my 4F which uh, I've got an LMS Airfix um, 4F I want to get that back in service it just needs new tyres and also I bought um, uh, one of these syringes handy for um, 
things like uh, applying glue to the uh, to the ballast to your tracks so I'll be using that uh, also bought a few also bought a few tools like this the this needle file very handy indeed so uh, also bought um, some uh, some uh, lamps as well some these are going to go on the platform at a later stage this was uh, this was um, bought from um, come on camera layouts for you and uh, also some other, some more figures there uh, this is the locomotive staff and also I've got the uh, train spotters youngsters so so we'll have more train spotters um, at the end of the platform and also bought another post um, advertising hoarding uh, so far so good and also finally the three wagons I bought for I was after this for ages this is the Backman um, pillbox brake van for the Southern Railway or was well, well, a Southern Railway design uh, yeah SR pillbox brake van in BR books um, book, book side where I can't pronounce it probably um, anyway yeah this is um, this is what I was after there was there was a grey ones as well but I wanted the uh, the the brown one uh, also I got um, also I got the uh, the fish the LNER fish van in BR livery BR freight livery um, and also the LMS um, the LMS Midland brake van with the uh, BR grey and also I like after this as well so now I've got it and I've added to my collection and finally whoops let's go under the table <coughs> there's no room in here at the moment because and also the Hornby uh, fish insel fish um, uh, it's a 12 ton fish van uh, so I was after these as well so I've got already got another one but this one's uh, this one's without a blue spot because uh, the other one I've got it's got a blue spot because they're known as the blue spot fish van anyway that's I think that's that for now anyway thank you for viewing my videos and um, anyway I'll do do another update very very soon and uh, see how, how I progress and till then and well yeah till then um, I'll speak to you soon take care of yourselves wherever you do um, look after yourselves and uh, have a good evening have a good night and God bless and thank you thank you for viewing goodbye bye